Dirk Hartog Island, here we come. This is going to be epic. So we've just been called on here. That camper trailer in front of us was too heavy, and with the rough weather, the barge driver was worried about water coming over the front with it being so heavy. So he's told them they have to camp up there and wait till tomorrow, and hopefully it's better weather. Boy, was it rough coming over here. And salt water spray all over the car. Anyway, it was well worth it. <laughs> This has been on our bucket list for ages. And where are you guys from? Melbourne. So here we are. Dirkhartog Island. Over on the ferry. Head up to the homestead and have a look. Some people, some people that um, were waiting to get on the barge this morning just got told it's too rough to take trailers. So they are stuck here for another night, if you call it stuck. I gotta head back and set up again. Yeah. And try again tomorrow morning. No guarantees that the weather won't be better tomorrow though. So anyway, let's go to the homestead and get a coffee. So we're just heading out this track out to the blowholes. It's like the first thing you turn off to see when we get on the island. Wow. It's the flag on top of the hill that we're looking for. Heading up towards. So there's a big swell coming now. Have a listen to the air rush out of this. Wow. <laughs> so we're at the Dirk Hartog Homestead. We've got to just go around here. Oh, this is the bar and cafe. This is looking out from the cafe where we get our coffees this morning. Wow. So this is the road out from the homestead heading north up the island. A little bit narrow. Seems to be a bit narrower than before the homestead. Yeah. Scratchy sticks too. Mm -hmm. But as we always say, all the best places normally hard to get to. Yeah, hard to get to and scratched up. Just come to the turn off to Notch Point. Let's go out and have a little. Well, there is a camping spot out here as well and a beach, so we'll go and have a look and see what's out there. So we're down at Notch Point. 
Pretty cool little cave I just walked into. couple of spots on the island where you just drive over these sand drifts or around them you basically just follow on a star picket with a little bit of uh, pink on top like the one on the left there Most of these camps are just private camps. There's actually people camping down here, so we decided to turn around and head back out to the next spot. Our first night's camp, Whitnall Point. We're going to head out there and see where we can, where we can camp on the beach or not. And then unfortunately it's raining. Yeah, so if you have a look around here, I don't think that there's going to actually be much shelter from the weather out here. <laughs> but anyway, let's go and see. But today is meant to be the only crappy day for weather. Yeah. And then it's meant to be beautiful for the next few days, so fingers crossed. So today hasn't quite planned, played out the way it was supposed to play out, has it, Dale? Not really. Not ideal. So we're. It'll uh, it'll stop raining soon. We're ready for the rain no to stop. Worry, man. Out here at Whitnall Point, it looks beautiful. We just need the rain to disappear because we can't even do anything. No, as soon as it goes I'll just put my awning out and we'll be set. But maybe won't be here for long. Hopefully not much longer. Mm. We'll let you know. Turns out it wasn't long at all and the drizzle cleared up and the blue sky come out. We set up camp and put the drone up to take a few shots. Today we are heading around to Turtle Bay. Turtle Bay. So hopefully we'll get somewhere out of the wind a little bit around there. Hopefully have a swim and a snorkel. Look at some turtles, look at some whales. Hopefully. Things like that. Yeah, yeah. swim and snorkel. Yeah. That's the plan. It would be good fishing here too, because this bay is fairly shallow. So it might it looks like it's only maybe a metre and a half in the middle, deep. Judging by the guys in that boat just then. Yeah. So, yeah. Gee, the tracks get narrow again, don't they? Mm -hmm. These are pinstripey trees. Yes. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> well, that doesn't help is the dips and that in the road because it makes the car rock over a bit, doesn't it? Into yeah. these, like here. So we're just going to call in here and have a look at the Turtle Bay lookout before we head around the couple of k's to the right to the Turtle Bay campground. So there's an old jetty down there obviously and then up the side here where I'm standing is obviously run an old tram track for loading of something. 
So this is Turtle Bay Campground and we've just set up just for the afternoon just to keep out of the sun. We're going to set our tents up shortly. But we've just sat here and we have just watched dolphins and whales and we saw some baby sharks this morning. Dale's doing some work. Brad and Raylena kicking back. Whale watching. Whale watching. <laughs> and the tide's coming in. So the waves are a bit bigger. It's cool. How many, sh how many whales do you reckon we've seen today? Um, in excess of 40. It's been a lot, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He's migrating. So from Turtle Bay Campground, that's looking down one way across the bay. So now we're just going for a walk the other way along the beach from Turtle Bay Campground. This is pretty cool. Pretty. Mm. Little baby sharks just here feeding. Who's scared more then? Here's one coming right up close to us. Yeah, it's a couple of blue bone feeding there. today yeah. around to Dampier Landing. Dampier Landing, that's what it was. So we've come into Dampier's Landing campground. You actually camp, oh, it's two sand dunes back from the beach. So it's very protected from wind and things like that. Um, you obviously don't have the view that we had last night out at um, Turtle Bay campground. But we found the plaques. Here are the plaques that commemorate William Dampier's landing in 1699. Now we've come around to the Cape Inscription Lighthouse. So this light is now run by solar power. It was run by gas right up until 1985. But it got converted over and it's total solar powered now. And it turns out the tramway that we found when we were over at Turtle Bay Lookout was to be able to get all the supplies and building materials and everything up to the lighthouse. It was the only access point. So the lighthouse keeper's cottage has been renovated in the last few years. But they use it when they're doing any, um, any work out this way or keeping a check on the turtle colonies and things like that. They people do stay here. We've come around the top of the island now and just down the west coast to the block camping area. There's a um, 
obviously toilets there, but there's a shed here. Just to get out of the weather if you need to. It's a hard hog hill, mate. Not bad, is it? Isn't it? Not bad at all. Obviously run a Jenny outside and someone's run power through. Yeah, very cool. Just walking back to the block where our cars are. Not a bad walk down along here with these rocks and stuff, is it? No, it's not bad. You enjoy yourself. I have. It's yeah. Fine. And whales out here everywhere, jumping and breaching and all sorts of things. Flapping. Yeah, flapping their flippers. Good spot. So we are down at the block campground on Dirk Hartog Island. Just cooking dinner in the shack there. Watching the sunset. Just beautiful spot here. That there's why it's named the block. We're listening to the NRL, NRL Grand Final. Where Rabbitohs are down by two. So we left the block this morning and we're heading down to have a look at Mystery Beach. Track gets a bit tight. Different this side of the island, the, the track's a bit rocky and nowhere near as corrugated, is it? No. But I don't know if this I don't think this is as busy a side of the island. No. As the other side. Because there's no real places to swim along this side being the west coast. No, it's all just cliff tops and Good for fishing people that like that. And that's about it, isn't it? Mm. Great for whale spotting, but. Oh, yeah. Yes. We're just going to head out to Mystery Beach. More K's out this track. Well, See? stuff flows up on this beach, doesn't it? Yeah. Mystery stuff. Things that wash from overseas, isn't it? Yeah. So we're at Mystery Beach. So we take a quick walk up and down the beach, have a bit of a look around, before it's time to head across the other side of the island looking for Sandy Point Campground. So these roads are actually pretty cool, like they're dead straight going back across here. So we've just found the Sandy Point sign out to the campground. So it's a K out here. This is where we're staying tonight. We'll go and see. 
see what it looks like. Wow, how's all those birds flying away? We had a bit of a snorkely, snorkely thing out there before, but there was nothing to see, and we did a little bit of fishing. Mm. Uh, we just still and got a line in, but did we catch anything? Nah. Did we get any bites? Nah. There was a stingray out there, and we just saw a school of fish swim past. Yeah, we had a shark this morning. A manta ray, a small bat wing ray or something go past. We think. Anyway, so we're just having a drink now. Dinner. The sun has just set. Cooking around here under the, behind the bush because the wind's blowing a little bit. Not a bad spot to cook dinner though, is it? Good. Beautiful. Fishing rods are in the water. Chairs are ready to eat dinner. There's no fish in the water, but there's <laughs> fishing rods in there. Oh, is that you can't find any fish? There's far too much ocean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ah well. And yeah, so now I'm just doing dinner. We'll enjoy that and Just leaving Sandy Beach? Beach. No. Sandy, yeah, Sandy Beach. Yep. Campground. Great oh. spot and new pinstripes. Very tight to get into and very sandy. And unfortunately the car just slides into them, doesn't it? Yep. There's not much you can do about some of them. Oh. We're gonna go up this sand dune. Which was very soft, so. It was gnarly coming down. It's going to be fairly <laughs> eventful going up, I think. Definitely not the sort of place you would bring your car if you are oh. precious about getting it scratched because as precious as Dale is about his car. Probably not for you, Chuggy. I'm surprised Brad's actually Me too. dealing as well as he's dealt with them. <laughs> Can't stress enough, if you're going to do things like this to your car, you need to spend some money on suspension to get that wheel travel. So we're back at the inscription bar area now. This is where we get our coffees of a morning and have a couple of frothies of an afternoon. And all the camping is that way.
So that's, that's it. Uh, it. Yeah, Dirk Hartog set point, point. Done. All done. And yeah. now head back to the caravan. Yep. Pick it up. Have a probably a better night's sleep than last night. The wind blew all night. It was the worst night's sleep I think we've had <laughs> in, a in a long time. Yeah. Like, and the sand blew up under the cover of the tent and in all over us all night. Yep. I've been in sand drift or something, oh, wasn't well, it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the worst bit was at the homestead there, you're all packed in like sardines, so that wasn't much fun, but anyway, all good, it was a um, cracker of a week we've had out there, so. I hope you, know. you enjoyed this episode, hopefully yeah. it will inspire, inspire some other people. Inspire you to get out there and have a look around, yeah. Yeah, definitely put it on your bucket list, definitely worth doing. And we're um, going to get the van and head south-ish a little bit. See where we end up? Yeah. So we ended up at the Billabong Roadhouse just south and emptied the car out with all our camping gear, packed it all back into the van. So like Tracy said, hope you enjoyed this episode. It was such a great experience getting out there for a week. I would highly recommend it to anyone. It's a bit expensive getting out there, but well worth it. So see you next episode. <laughs> That's not ideal. <laughs> you better stop, Brad. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs>